Hello everybody, today I'm at Pitney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2023 Ram Rebel 1500 Lunar Edition. Really unique uh, ceramic gray exterior color. It's powered by a 5.7 liter uh, e-torque Hemi V8 and an 8-speed automatic transmission. Uh, it has the Rebel graphics package, so starting off up front, as you can see we have the beautiful exterior color, LED headlights and fog lights, Rebel style sport hood with the Rebel graphics package. Your uh, 1500 Hemi e-torque badging is going to be right there. Coming back down to the front grille, it is the Rebel exclusive grille. Front and rear bumpers are powder coated black. Parking sensors are integrated into the middle portion of the bumper as well as your cross path detection sensors. Powder coated tow recovery hooks up front as well. Beautiful black matched fender flares. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, we have a Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac, and that's a 275-70R18. It looks kind of muted right now. I don't quite think it's a gloss black wheel. I, th I think I said it was gloss black on the other one, but these are a little bit more of a matte uh, finish. Splash guards right behind the front wheels. Blacked out ram badging on the door black mirror cap with blind spot monitor mirror or blind spot mirrors I should say right here this guy does not have blind spot monitoring it looks like passive entry so as long as you have the key fob on you you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door coming around back again we have that rebel graphics package right here we have your sport style LED tail lamps powder coated bumper in the back parking sensors are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper and then you have that black chrome exhaust tip and this truck sounds extremely good your 4x4 badging is going to be on the passenger side massive ram badge in the middle of the tailgate backup camera is going to be right there your rebel badge is on the driver's side coming back around to the driver's side we have your capless fuel fill port right there Blind spot mirror right there. This truck looks so sweet. I think Ram probably has the best color options and special editions out there out of any of the manufacturers. Let's take a closer look now at the inside. All right, so turning off over on the driver's side door, we have this really nice soft touch leather in Rebel exclusive trim. Lock and unlock buttons, window controls, mirror controls with your power folding mirror button. This guy has the premium Harman Kardon audio group, so there are speakers pretty much everywhere. Right over here we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up top to the dashboard, it's this soft rubberized material. Again, speakers everywhere with the Harman Kardon premium audio group. Working our way down to the instrument cluster, it is 100% digital, which is awesome. I love that the industry is moving in that direction. Very programmable and customizable. Uh, you can also actually look at your navigation on here too, which is pretty sweet if you're using uh, the nav. Off-road pages, this thing is just so sweet. Working our way back to the steering wheel now, we have this kind of dual leather steering wheel. Soft touch leather, and then we have this like dimpled or dotted perforated leather on just below the 10 and 2. Really nice white stitching. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have the controller for the center uh, instrument cluster, and then we have your steering wheel mounted uh, call buttons. Over on the right side, we have your cruise control buttons as well as your gear limiter button. This guy does have push button start. Right down here, we have the rotary dial shifter for the vehicle, as well as your push button transfer case. Because this is a Hemi e-torque, it's got your automatic start stop off button right here. It is unfortunately on by default. Right here we have your trail control, which is like cruise control at extremely slow speeds. And then we have your axle locker button. Coming back up top again, we had this really nice Rebel exclusive trim. Storage tray with 12 volt outlet right there. Above the touchscreen display is your hazard light button. And then that brings us to the massive 12 inch touchscreen display. Your air conditioning vents or your air conditioning controls are gonna be on the side of the touchscreen. And this thing is amazing. It's got Amazon Alexa, 4G LTE connection, um, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. It's got the card system, as you can see. So we'll have navigation on top and then audio down below. Or I can have um, AirPlay or CarPlay up top and then my air conditioning controls down below as well. 
Everything is controlled through the touchscreen display, including your heated uh, seats as well as your heated steering wheel. Underneath the touchscreen display, we've got a bank of buttons, including your integrated trailer brake controller, traction control off, tow haul mode, parking sensors for the rear off, parking sensors for the front off. Under that, we have two USBs, two USB type C's and an auxiliary jack. Nice little storage tray right here. I like to put uh, chapstick and pens and pencils up here. Right here we have a plus size smartphone storage compartment for two smartphones. And then under that we have a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. That brings us back to the configurable center console. Two cup holders, chain storage and storage tray. It's in the furthest most position giving us access to everything up top. Click it back one spot and then you have access to just the cup holders and half the storage compartment. Click it back again and you have access to the entire storage compartment that fits a 12 pack perfectly. Coming back to the center armrest, it is tiered. First one has a USB outlet and a cutout for cord management. Second one gives us access to the massive storage compartment down in there. There is a little divider flap right there that has the four previous generation of Ram trucks on it. On the back of the center armrest, we have some trigonomic ratios, standard to metric conversion, and then fraction to decimal conversion charts. Pretty cool. Really nice leather seats with Rebel stitched onto the seat bolsters. This guy has two glove boxes. First one's gonna be accessed by pushing that button. It is LED lit. Second one's gonna be right down in here. Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be incandescent lit for your passenger as well as your driver. The driver vanity is going to get a three-door universal garage remote. Coming up top to the headliner, we have the master controls for the incandescent dome map lights. I do apologize about that light washout. We have your SOS and assist buttons as well as the power sliding rear window button. In front of that, you have glasses storage and then your very sleek auto dimming rear view mirror. So overall, I really like the interior of this truck. Um, it is packaged slightly differently than the previous yellow one I just did a video on. Check the channel for that video. A um, little bit more affordable. There's a little bit less packages, but overall, I really like the interior. I like the soft touch leather. I love the digital instrument cluster and the vertical touchscreen display. Let's see how much room we have in the back. So before I get in, I do want to point out these seats do fold up, giving us access to under seat storage as well as a load flat floor. We have the in-floor storage system on this guy. This is removable, so you can put ice in there or whatever. Centimeter markings on the uh, short side and inch markings on the long side. And it is on both driver and passenger sides. Getting in again is real easy with the grab handle. And I've done enough of these videos to know when the seat is put where it would be if I was driving. I have about two and a half to three feet of room between the front of this seat and the back of this seat. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right here. Again, really nice Rebel style trim. Little cutout right here for storage. USBs, USB type C's as well as 115 volt 400 watt power outlet right there. These are the um, floor mats that they have not put in yet, but this center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. Because it has the premium Harman Kardon audio group, you're gonna have speakers pretty much everywhere. There is no sunroof in this guy, so headroom is maximized. Hanger hooks and LED dome map lights up top. And overall, I'm just extremely comfortable in this guy. They did a, a good job with these seats. Let's take a quick look now at the bed. So there's gonna be two ways to open the tailgate. The first way is with the key fob. Second way would be the traditional way. You come up to it underneath the backup camera, push it, it will automatically come down for you, which is nice. Looks like we have four tie down points total, one in each of the four corners. Really, really nice looking exterior color. And the hinged components on this vehicle are aluminum, so it is very uh, light. I can take two fingers and slam it shut and we're good to go. Let's take a quick look now at that towing and payload sticker. So here you have it, the towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. Keep in mind, if you see one on your local dealer lot that's slightly different, it could be because how it's packaged. Here's the window sticker for this vehicle. I will read the key features because there is some tint on the glass. Again, this is a 2023 Ram 1500 Rebel Crew Cab 4x4 with a base price of $57,190. The exterior color is ceramic gray. It's got a 5.7 liter Hemi e-torque and a eight speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment's all gonna be right here. 
Optional equipment starts right here and continues down. Most notably, you have the Rebel Lunar Edition for $29.95. Rebel Level 2 Equipment Group for $4,495, as well as a uh, $29.95 upcharge for the uh, 5.7 liter Hemi E-Torque engine. Total price is gonna be $70,310. Fuel economy rating is gonna be right here. This vehicle is rated at 17 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 19 miles per gallon. I wanna give Pinkney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in it, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. If you wanna keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs, subscribe to the channel and be sure to go over to Twitter or X and give me a follow as I will be posting a bunch of my content over on that platform as well. And if you'd be as so kind to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.